friends, you are watching a Rudire Plus, the professional CAD CAM solution provider. This channel provides basics of finite element analysis and computer-aided mechanical engineering design and analysis using CAD-related software. Let's get started. Hello friends, today I'll show a new technique of solid loss flow simulation and that is known as free surface. Actually this is a new technique that was developed with the interface of SOLIDWORKS in 2018 onwards. You know that mixing of fluids are possible only when they are in similar phases. At different phases we cannot mix different fluids, right? Now with this free surface technique we will show how different fluids can be mixed and simulation of that one I will show. And this is a little bit tricky one. It is not as per normal uh, what we are following in normal flow simulation. Uh, this is a little different from that one. We will show with a simple example let's open a model i have already created this is the model this is made already transparent for better view what it is there actually this is a container inside that container the top part is filled up with air and the bottom part is filled up with water so we'll follow a transient analysis that means for a specific time water will be coming out from this container and as water will be coming out, the volume by the same time mass fraction of water will be decreasing and at the same time volume and mass fraction of air will be increasing. So we can check this one with this simulation and by the same time with one optimization we can find out at what time container will be completely filled up with air. All water will come out from this container. We can find out using optimization. Right? Okay. Now how we made this model, this is not the normal one, actually in free surface we have to consider two different fluids within the same domain, we cannot provide different domain, right? Normally we can see that in computational domain two different fluids will be there at different domains but here in the same domain we can provide different types of fluids. So for that what we have done is the upper part we have made a vacant one and the down part we have made a solid, right? How we did? Uh, this one can be done by three different techniques. One is known as like you can generate a solid volume and after that you can cut the surface and you can produce this type of object. And another option is there like a line and that can be extruded. That means you can separate this one with a plane and from that plane you can use the intersection part. Using intersection also you can produce this one. But I have done this one in a different way. So what we have done is I have made one container which is hollow and inside that container I have put the solid volume. This solid volume is actually working as water, right? So that one we have to define while providing initial conditions. The lids have also been provided. At the top and bottom two lids we have provided. Now we are starting the simulation and the simulation environment will be generally created with the wizard itself. So we are starting with wizard and the default name of the project we are keeping as project 4 and then next and we are following SI unit and for unit we can take as usual that temperature will be in degree centigrade then next it is an internal analysis you can do this one as an external analysis also because water will be coming out we are considering this one as an internal analysis right and as it is a transient analysis we have to provide the time for this one Let's take time for this one as 20 seconds and an output time step we're considering 0.1 second. That means after 0.1 second, results will be set. And definitely gravity will be coming to action. Now you can see the direction of this gravity. You can see it is y direction, right? So in the y direction the gravity will be 9.81 meter per second square and along z direction it will be zero and free surface we have to consider. This is the main part. That means free surface is transient analysis and it is never a steady state condition. Okay, let's move on to the next step. Now gases we have to select. In gas we are considering as air only. And Liquid will consider water. So 
so we have selected air and water default field will be air next a default wall thermal conditions and roughness we are considering it will not affect at all so next step and here what you see the concentrations okay? initial fluid will be air that means at the vacant space on the top part it will be filled up with air and down part it will be water so finish it we can see our computational domain it is ready we can hide this computational domain and fluid subdomains actually this is not the normal one here in this case in single domain we are providing two different types of fluids right so we have to follow some different things as i told already that this is not actually fluid this is solid right the bottom part you can see this is solid that solid part we have to change to a liquid or water right that can be done from initial conditions it will come from tool flow simulation insert and then finally it will come to initial conditions right okay now the initial condition is that bottom part that was considered as solid that to be made as water for doing that one we have to select that part that part is actually we have made as part number six we have to select that one and from here disable the solid components and after disabling we have to define that component as water so it is here we have to consider this one as water so what we have done we have disabled the solid part and made that solid part as liquid so green check it is done right okay next one we have to apply our boundary conditions as per normal conditions we have to apply two boundary conditions one will be at the top that is atmospheric pressure and down also one that is also atmospheric pressure that to be applied and as only told before also in all other videos that for applying boundary conditions in a better way it is easiest to cut the object from some planes so we'll cut it along a front plane we can view this one from side okay cutting is done now we can rotate a little bit and we can see the actual location better way right this is the location here in this case we have to apply our boundary conditions so boundary conditions insert boundary condition and it will be atmospheric pressure so we have to select that location at the top of this container go and check it is done now again similar thing we have to do at the bottom also right so we have to select that bottom part and insert bounding condition it will be atmospheric pressure and we have to select that location this is the location we have to select properly we have selected so green check it is done all the boundary conditions have been applied properly now we can select the complete view of next one we have to define some goals insert global goals and we are mainly trying to see the volume fraction or mass fraction of water and air so we'll see select these things average mass fraction of air average mass fraction of water and average volume fraction of water and air also we have selected four different goals but to see that means uh, volume fraction of water and air similarly mass fraction of water and air that we obtained as a goal before running this one we have to see some other thing like calculation control option or to check it now here from saving we have to select the transient explorer this is actually a new one from 2018 onwards this has been added to the solidworks interface it will show what kind of animation for a particular like uh, cut rod so we are selecting this one let's select the uh, mass fraction of water and air okay done now we can run it 
we're starting a new calculation and before seeing the results itself from the solver window we can see our results right it has started already you can see the results from here itself so we can check it better to check it from the graph first right we have got four different goals all of them can be selected but we'll see the volume fraction only right let's say volume fraction of water and air both of the things we can check it other source we can check it uh, to avoid some kind of confusion because volume and motion mass every is showing same time it will be showing similar trend so better to see volume fraction only right okay it's showing that initially you can say that volume fraction of water was 76 percent and that of uh, air was 24 percent as time is proceeding a uh, volume fraction of water is decreasing as it is falling down from the bottom part at the same time volume of air is increasing right so top part the green line it is showing volume fraction of water and the down part is volume fraction of air initially volume of water was 76 percent and that of uh, air was 24 percent now within 20 seconds we will see whether it is completely vacant or not that will check that is complete vacant means it completely filled up with air we will see after 20 seconds what happens right at this point you can see after 270 numbers of iterations we can see that volume fraction of air is 30 percent and that of water is 70 percent let the iterations move on we will see whenever it is finished we will see the results and analyze it the solver window has finished its calculation you can see the results now from the solver window itself like we told that the volume fraction of water at the beginning was 76 percent and that of air was 24 percent after 20 seconds the volume fraction of air has gone up to 95 percent and that of water has gone down to five percent right now we'll see the results and the simulation part from the cut plots you can see the results first of all we'll see the cut plot and we want to see like mass fraction of water we want to check so green check you can see mass fraction of water it has come down and the blue part is actually mass fraction of air down part is the mass fraction of water initially it was 76 percent and finally it has come down to five percent only right okay now one very important thing has been added to the interface of the solid was on 2018 onwards this is transient explorer it will show the cut plots in the form of one animation right we'll see this transient explorer this transient explorer will work when the cut plots are actually on right let's start it so it is showing volume fraction of water is coming down so initially it was 76 percent after 20 seconds it has come down to five percent so in the reverse we can say that when the volume fraction of water is coming down so volume fraction of air is going up you can check it from here also like let's stop it for some time and we change it to mass fraction of air right this is showing mass fraction of air this mass fraction of air is going up okay let's stop this one we can see some other parts like let's clear and hide when you see this surface parts also we can check it insert surface ports using all faces want to see mass fraction of air green check so throughout the surface you can see that mass fraction of air or mass fraction of water we can check it right so we'll see it Let's drag it down in the bottom part, it will be better one to see. Yeah, it will be better to see in the bottom part. Right? Let's see it. So mass fraction of air is going up.
okay let's stop it now we can see the results okay now we we'll go back to the results that is from goal ports insert insert goal ports we have decided four different goals we want to see that so select all and show from the results you can see that like uh, after 20 seconds the uh, average mass fraction of air is 82.5 percent and average mass fraction of water is 17 percent similarly average volume fraction of air is 94 percent and average volume fraction of water is 5 percent only right so we have already seen that at the beginning volume fraction of water was 76 percent so after 20 seconds it has come down to 5 percent similarly for air initial volume fraction of air was 24 percent after 20 seconds its volume is now 95 percent or 94.55 it can say is 95 percent right these are the results now here we can do some kind of analysis and we can see the results like in the form of excel in the form of history in the form of graphs right you will see the results like first one is average mass fraction of air it has gone from 24 percent to 90 percent right this for mass volume is different one volume fraction we have seen already now similarly uh, average mass fraction of water it has come down it was 75 percent from here it has come down to uh, near about we can say that here that is let's say 20 percent near about similarly for volume fraction of air initially it was 24 percent and after 20 seconds its volume fraction has gone up to 95 percent and for volume fraction of water initially it was 76 percent and after 20 seconds its volume fraction has come down to 5 percent only these are the results in the form of graphs now for better analysis we can take this data in the form of excel and analyze it in a different way right okay now some other things we are stopping here we can do some kind of like optimization we can optimize the volume fraction of water or air anything by changing some input variables the input variables may be the design parameters or maybe some input uh, boundary conditions also right so this is all about today's analysis of free surface using solidworks flow simulation if you like this video please subscribe and share and if you have any kind of doubts please write to me thank you so much for watching this video thank you again bye